welcome to Unlock Your Wellbeing, the podcast that teaches you the simple keys to health and happiness so that you can grow as a human being into a well-being. And now here's your host, author, certified wellness coach, mother, and wife, Alicia Leadham. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode. This is going to be a really special episode because it's like a recap of the podcast. This is uh, our one year anniversary of this podcast. And I am really impressed with us that we have been doing this for a year and also slightly shocked that it has already been a year. Uh, As I was doing some prep and reflecting for this episode, I realize how much has actually happened in this last year since releasing our first episode of Unlock Your Wellbeing. And it's been quite a lot, you guys. Uh, So if you are interested in tuning in to, you know, all of the goodies of this past year, what we've released, our top episodes what my personal few favorites were and what you kind of can expect moving forward, at least for the rest of season two and season three. And then of course, you're going to want to stick around because I have a gift for y'all for my podcast listeners. Okay. So let's just get right into it. Um, if this is our first time meeting, hello, it's so nice to meet you. My name is Alicia Leadham. I am a well-being consultant and coach, and I'm the founder of Alicia Leadham Wellness. And you can check more out over at alishaleadham.com. And yeah, like I said, we released our first episode in January of 2022. And since then, we've released a total of 34 episodes, which is great because we took an entire summer off. That was something that's really important to me is when I start a project, I really intend for it to be sustainable. And for me, I know myself well enough that I need to give myself uh, breaks. Okay. Um, And so some people do things and, and run you know, long projects a little bit differently. Sometimes they like to just go a little bit at a slower pace. So maybe if someone else has a podcast, they'll do, you know, every other week, um, or they'll just stop for a few weeks and then come back on or just kind of have it periodically. Uh, I feel and know that we're kind of in a really nice flow right now between myself and my team. We have an awesome team. You guys have heard me talk about Ainsley Heisey quite a bit um, on the show. She's our podcast producer. She does such a great job uh, at putting together each episode for us. And then, of course, we have our our graphic designer, um, uh, Caitlin Alford. She's incredible as well. And then we actually just brought on someone new recently, which uh, I'll introduce her at a later at a later time. But our little team is doing a really great job at keeping this running and uh, connecting with you guys with it. So 34 episodes in this last year. Oh, that's what I was saying. It's really important to me that I take uh, breaks, right? And so for me, taking a break over the summer to very intentionally slow down, enjoy the outdoors, enjoy time with my family, um, and knowing that that time when I'm slowing down is actually giving me downloads of content and truly refilling my cup so that I am able to pour that energy that I've received back into my work. And part of my work um, is the podcast, right? So we'll likely be doing that again in this, in this upcoming year. I haven't officially like totally decided on that yet, but I think that's what we'll likely do. So 34 total episodes in uh, between season one and season two so far. We're not done with season two. This is actually going to be a long season. And we have had a little over 2,200 downloads. That's actually really great for a podcast because podcasts are considered long form forms of content. Um, You know, we're all super busy people. And so when you hit download for an episode with the intention to listen to it, that's a pretty big commitment because it's not, you know, a 30 second video on YouTube or TikTok that, um, you know, 
right? You need to have a little bit longer of attention span to listen to it. And so it's a, it's a big commitment with your time and your attention. And so I'm so grateful for each and every download that we have received from this. I, I really hope that everyone has, has received a lot of value and inspiration and uh, education and um, real tools that they can walk away with taking new actions to create more well-being in their life just as a result of whatever episode they downloaded and listened to. You'll notice that we, towards, towards the end of season one, definitely in season two, we have been bringing on more guests and that's been really fun. I would love to hear what you guys uh, think about that. If you prefer the show having more guests, if you prefer having more Alicia solo episodes, or if you're really liking the, the nice little combo of both, I think that would be really cool to hear from you guys. So of those 2,200-ish downloads, uh, about 1,900 of them are from the U.S., because we can see where everyone's downloading this from. And the other 278 are broken down into this. So we have 125 downloads of, of um, people from Canada. Very cool. 76 people from Australia. 22 from the UK. 18 from India. Interesting. Amazing. And then 37 are, uh, we don't know, like just super small and other. So very cool. Well, international, you guys. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, for tuning in. Uh, and then it looks like about half of the episodes were downloaded on um, on the Apple Podcast app, and then the other half were on other apps. So that's likely uh, Spotify, uh, YouTube because we have that on YouTube, which if you're watching on YouTube, you'll notice that this is actually video form as well. I'm trying to do that more, at least for my solo episodes. So you can, you know, tune into the video episode if you want. Um, and we also have it available on Google podcasts. So, and that was something that was, that was requested right when we launched the show is Alicia, can you please put this on Google podcasts? And I said, yes. And Ainsley did it. So thanks. Ainsley. <laughs> Okay, so our top five episodes by downloads. You ready for this? Number one, the top episode of all is the first episode. <laughs> Season one, episode one. We've had 245 downloads of that episode and it is called an introduction to well-being. Um, I have mixed feelings about this because your first episode is, you know, you're the most nervous because you're doing it for the first time. It was literally my first podcast episode. So I would like to think that we have gotten better, but I'm, I'm grateful and excited and um, thrilled that people are interested in learning what my framework to well-being is at least the introduction part of it, right? There's so much many more layers. We can go deep into it. But if you haven't checked out that first episode, that just gives you my overall framework to well-being, which is also in my book, The Six Gold Keys to Well-Being. So episode, the second top episode, number two, is an episode with my husband. So this is episode three. Uh, and this was called Burnout, Mindfulness, and Leadership with Michael Liedem. So this had 104 downloads. And you guys just love when we bring uh, Michael on. And I love it too. We actually have not had him on enough in season two. And so we'll make sure to have to do that. The thing is, you know, with us both working um, and running our businesses at home and taking care of our daughter at the same time, it is a little tricky to find time for us to sit down uninterrupted to record the episode. So just know that when we do, it took a lot of time and energy and effort and uh, we're happy to do it. But um, that's that's a, that's a big, a lot has to come together in order for that to happen. Oh, the joys of running businesses as parents, right? You just, there's just more on your plate that 
you just have to be even more intentional with the things that you choose to say yes to. But the good news is that when you do say yes to whatever that thing is, you know it's an alignment because you have to follow through and do all those things that need to be done in order for that thing to happen, right? So it almost forces you to be more intentional, with that, which I think can be great. Okay, number uh, the third top episode, number three. This was actually the season one finale. And this episode, uh, I believe it's episode 29. And uh, this is, I just said, life and business updates because it was the season finale. And so I think people are are interested in that one, um, honestly, because it says life updates. Is that why? I'm not sure. Or maybe business updates. I mean, I like hearing personal things from people. I don't love to share a lot about my personal life. I used to. And early days of my business many, many years ago, but now I don't as much. Uh, It just feels a lot better to keep more of my personal life private and sharing, you know, my work as my work. It almost feels like it gives me more freedom and more space uh, and I can maintain it. It doesn't feel like I'm burning out as much uh, because I don't have to feel like I have to show every part of my life, right? Right. I totally used to do that many years ago. I showed so much more of my life on video and Instagram. And while I think it's it's great for people who that aligns with their uh, business model and what they do, it just didn't feel as great to me anymore. But um, sometimes I'll open up right on that. And I think maybe that's what people are interested in in that episode. So let me know what you guys are thinking about that. The fourth episode, the fourth top episode. <laughs> This was episode 13 of season one, and this was with uh, a guest, Erica Hermsen, called Connection is the Secret to Wellbeing with fitness coach Erica Hermsen. That had 87 downloads, so that's great. Loved that episode with Erica. I think that was really beautiful to hear a different perspective of well-being in really highlighting the importance of relationships and um, connections with other people and community. And she had really created that in her business and that actually helped her through a really dark period of her life. And, you know, there's so much, so much research out there that's showing that loneliness is actually um, just as deadly as smoking. And so, you know, with the pandemic creating solitude and loneliness for a lot of people that we're now kind of seeing the fallout of the repercussions of people being really lonely. And so um, it's only highlighting the importance of having community and relationships and making that a priority. And I think we're all in this really interesting place right now where you know, we are still kind of like relearning how to be social and um, not be socially awkward necessarily with others or making sure we can go into real conversations and avoid the dreaded small talk. I really don't like small talk. I think I just want to get into the meat. Like, let's just, let's, let's get real, you know, let's have real conversations with you. But, um, you know, you kind of lose that after a little bit, after a little bit, after a few years of the pandemic. So I've seen a lot of people talk about this kind of re-entering and, you know, it's been a little bit that we've been re-entering post-pandemic, but it takes time because of all of the (laughs) trauma that we've all experienced. And so we're going to be continuing to see this a lot. So if that's one area that you are wanting to improve, and your own well-being, then that's a great episode for you to to check out and dive into. And so the fifth top download ep- downloaded episode for the past year is episode 18 from season one. And this was on the five foods to avoid that make you stressed and tired. And that had 84 downloads. That doesn't surprise me at all. People are very interested in understanding the importance of their diet and what foods can increase your energy or deplete your energy. And, um, you know, I talked about in that episode how our our gut is considered our second brain. And 
so the health of your gut, meaning the foods that you're eating and the ability to digest and assimilate the food will directly impact the health of your brain, right? Your brain health, your mental health. And so knowing what to eat, how to eat is really important. And, you know, I'll give you a little sneak peek. It's just stay away from processed foods and eat whole, real seasonal foods. Um, there's a really interesting graphic going around right now uh, about, I believe the FDA released it. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure which government agency did, but it was from the government. And they released um, the foods, like a, a list of very random foods and the top five or 10 foods that they said that they encourage you to eat. And then they had 10 that they said eat moderately and then 10 that they said to avoid or don't eat very often. And people are just ripping it to shreds because some of the top things that they said to eat um, that were uh, either the top, the encouraged or moderate were like lucky charms, um, were like peanut, chocolate covered peanuts, frosted mini wheats over eggs cooked in butter. Oh, I did see, I remember seeing too, um, an egg substitute cooked in vegetable oil was better than an egg, a whole egg fried in butter. That's just absolutely blows my mind. So you know what? That's an entire other episode that I will go into, but the number one rule is, um, seed oils cause inflammation, vegetable oil is a seed oil. Don't eat it. Steer away from it at all costs and uh, eat real foods because real foods are where the nutrients are. And an egg substitute, what is it made of? What, what is, what even is it, right? What is an egg substitute? Please tell me that. And so a real egg actually has so, so, so many nutrients for you, especially for pregnant women. There is um, a nutrient in it called choline and choline is a vital, a vital nutrient that, that pregnant women need to have to uh, fundamentally develop the baby. Um, I believe it's, it's for their brain mostly. Um, and so when I was pregnant, I, I mean, I ate three to four eggs every single day anyway. So, um, I clearly went on a tangent on that one, but that's, that's on the top of my mind because that just recently came out and I just, I still can't believe it. So check out that episode. And, uh, that episode was actually, um, I have uh, links to the research in in that episode on those five foods, okay? Okay. So it's been a really fun, fun year. It's been fun to, you know, really become a podcaster, I guess. I still don't really see myself as that. Maybe I should start to do that of like, okay, yeah, I have, I have this podcast. I'm feeling better about it because I'm getting better at it. Um, and you know what? I think I said this in the first episode. You have to be willing to be bad at something to when you first start it in order to become better at the thing that you're doing. And also to have compassion for yourself as you're learning and to lift yourself up along the way. And so I hope that you can kind of see that in my approach and my belief and my energy in, in this myself. Okay. So here are the things that, um, I want to highlight about the podcast and about this last year. Okay. So I released a podcast in January of 2022, a few months later, three months later, exactly in April of 2022, I, uh, released my first book, the six gold keys to well-being. This is available, uh, over on Amazon that you can go grab your very own copy of. And if you've read it, I would love it if you would leave us a review, even just five stars. A written review is awesome as well. We have some really great reviews over there, but I know so many of you have read it and that would just be the best gift ever if you could leave us a review over there. So we released that book. Uh, we began speaking much more in 2022 uh, in my consulting and speaking business, Alicia Leadham Wellness, which has been super amazing and really fun. 
Uh, and something that we released in the middle of the year, mostly for our clients was our affirmation card deck. And so this is a, a deck that our designer on uh, team ALW, Caitlin Alford designed. She was like the greatest artist ever. And um, what we did is we took all of the, all of the uh, affirmations that I had listed at the end of each chapter of my book, at the end of each key and put them into this beautiful card deck. Okay. So that came out in, uh, in July. Now, the only way to get these are uh, to become a client of mine. I offer them at some of my speaking engagements, at my um, my consulting gigs, and sometimes if people reach out to me um, as a special client, then I give you I give you some. So if you're interested in these, just reach out to me, at Alicia at alishaleadum.com. Send me an email. But on a few episodes, we have shuffled a card and pulled an affirmation. And that's what I want to do for us right now. Okay. So I am shuffling these and we're going to see what our affirmation is for this episode. Two of them came out. That usually happens, huh? I enjoy moving my body to celebrate what my body can do. That is an affirmation from the third chapter, which is the gold key of movement. And then the second affirmation is from the sleep chapter, chapter one. My bedroom is relaxing and I easily fall asleep now without guilt and with deep gratitude. I really love this, uh, this sleep affirmation because my, one of my favorite episodes that I released, uh, was actually in season two and it was a meditation season two, episode 21. And it's a guided meditation for end of day. And this is quickly becoming one of the top ones, uh, but I just, I loved it. And I would love to know if you guys would like more meditations on, on the podcast. I'm happy to do, you know, to do more of them if you're interested. Uh, but that was a meditation specifically to help you release the day, to help you fall asleep with gratitude and feel really good so that you can have a deeper, uh, quality of sleep so you can feel better the next day. So I think that that's cool that that was the, uh, the affirmation that we just pulled for us. Right. So the other thing that happened, and this is actually brand new. So, uh, brand new. And this is a gift for you as my listeners. We have officially, and this was just announced last week at an event that I spoke at for Catching Leadership as their uh, their chief well-being officer. I spoke uh, on behalf of Catching Leadership, which is my husband's company, on uh, mindfulness for leaders. And this was a, a group of about 100 uh, leaders in healthcare. Uh, in the uh, Dubuque, Iowa area. So it was really amazing. Um, But I released at that, at the end of the event, my self-study online course to the six gold keys to well-being. Okay. I'm so thrilled and really excited about it because I know that many people want to dive into the program. They want to you know, dive deeper into the, the framework and into the concepts and become healthier, but they're not really sure where to start. And they don't want to do a live program because they don't have that kind of time, uh, or have that time commitment, but they want something that is customized and they're able to go at their own pace. And so that's what this is. It's a six module self-study course, which means that you can go at your own pace at it. And I have uh, instructions on where to start. So you can watch the modules from beginning to end and then choose which of the keys you're going to dive deeper into over the course of the next few weeks or months and then move on to the next one. You can start a different way uh, that I explain at the beginning of the course. And then each module has a ton of really amazing resources to help you dive deeper into it. For example, each module has... uh, 
several meditations for you to listen to. My well being or my movement module has several yoga uh, classes for you. The course includes a workbook for you to print off and utilize uh, as you work through each key, including trackers to help you on your on your on your journey and help you understand your progress and help you really decipher what your own unique well-being approach for your lifestyle is. So here's the deal. The course is priced at 197. And as a listener, I am going to gift you a $50 off coupon code. I'm not going to put this anywhere else. A $50 off coupon code. So the code is U, the letter U, Y, the letter Y, W. So just think of the unlock your well-being. So UW, UYW 2023. And this code will also be in the episode show notes. So if you head to alishaleadum.com, you'll see a tab on the top, self-study course. You can pop in that coupon code UYW2023, and that will populate the $50 off for you. So instead of uh, 197, it will be 147 for you, and you will have that unlimited access to the program, including any additional updates that we make to it or any extra bonuses that we add to it along the way. So it is based on the book but it goes much deeper beyond all the concepts of the book. It kind of brings everything to life for you and has everything right there for you. So super thrilled for you guys to dive into that. And now if you have any questions uh, or concerns with that, please uh, email alicia at alishaleadum.com. And alicia is spelled A-L-I-S-H-A at A-L-I-S-H-A-L-E-Y-T-E-M.com. All right. So a couple other things I want to chat with you about in this special one year anniversary episode. Woo. Okay. So my favorite, well, I already told you my favorite solo episode, but my favorite episode featuring a guest was the, one of the most more recent ones. And this was, um, episode 20 or 31. This is taking a leap of faith in your career with Ryan Tucker and Michael Liedem. This was one of the coolest episodes because we told the story of how catching leadership has become in a way, uh, a very special family synchronistic business that started from this podcast and ended with um, Ryan joining Catching Leadership and the really crazy ups and downs of the story. So if you're interested in like a very synchronistic uh, story that was highly, you know, universal led, then go check that one out. That one is my favorite so far. But I want to hear from you guys. What is it that you would like to hear or see more of in this next year of the show? I already asked you earlier in this in this episode, but I'd love to hear if you prefer more guests or if you prefer more solo episodes or if you like kind of having this current blend that we have going on right now. We have a couple more guests in the lineup that are coming out soon, uh, but would really love to hear your input on this. And, you know, my intention as we continue on the show is to connect more with you guys. Um so I really encourage and would love for you all to send me an email, send me an email. Let me know if you like a certain episode or a topic, or you'd like me to talk about a different topic or, um, just say hi to me. I'd love to connect with you. Uh, or you, you know, you can do it over on LinkedIn as well too, but there's something different about an email, right? So feel free to connect and, uh, e- email me over there. We're also uh, going to be bringing Ask Alicia back. So this we did mostly in season one, which was just a segment at the end of my solo episodes of Ask Alicia. So if there's a question that you have for me, please put it in this Ask Alicia um, uh, survey box that we have for you, which is going to be in the in the show notes, but yeah, you can just click on that. And if you're, you know, going about your day and you think, huh, I would love to ask Alicia that question. You can, 
and I will answer that for you. So every solo episode, we will have that. If there are questions that were asked, please be sure to go put those in there for us. And like I said, you can expect us to finish out season two through, uh, through the end of, um, the spring, you know, likely till Memorial day. And then we'll likely take the summer off and come back for season three and, uh, the fall of 2023 into the spring of 2024. Yeah. I so appreciate you guys so much. And I really hope that this adds massive value to your lives. And I hope we can continue to bring relevant information and inspiration and topics for you all to continue to tune in every Friday and get a dose of inspiration and connection and actions that you can take to implement these tools and for improving, improving your life of feeling good and, and, and being happier, right? That is ultimately what we are all seeking and aligning ourselves with, right? So thank you again so much for being here. I'll see you on our next episode. All of the information from today will be in the show notes for you to check out. I'll see you next time. Namaste.